Hello and welcome back! This is episode 17 of my vlog series about creating the art for a 2D video game. And happy Valentine's Day yesterday, or Single Awareness Day, depending on your, you know, romantic situation. I had a lovely day. My family has a long tradition of making these heart-shaped sugar cookies on Valentine's Day. Um, but they're a little bit different, so they're not like, uh, you know, the sugar cookies that you get from your bakery um, at the store, they're really super sweet, and then on top of them they have like a really sweet frosting. Ours are a little bit different, so where the cookie itself is not actually super sweet, it kind of needs the frosting to like, balance it out almost. And I'm finding out that nobody outside of our family likes them. Like, I grew up eating them every year, absolutely love them. But oh my goodness, like, I've been married for over seven years now, my husband will maybe eat one, He's it's taken him at least that long to acquire a taste for these. My son, of course my son doesn't eat anything, but he won't touch them. He basically, he basically won't touch anything that is, like, in the realm of homemade. Um, and my, my daughter, who will eat anything, even spicy stuff, like, to where they're, like, her eyes are red and she's got, like, sweat beads on her cheeks, like, I mean, she will eat spicy stuff. I gave her one bite of these sugar cookies and she spit it out. And I've, I've repeated this experiment at least four times in case she was just like not hungry for once in her life now. She doesn't eat them. And so I'm the only one who's eating them and I can't bring myself to make a small batch because that's just not how it's done. And so I make like, you know, five dozen of these and then I just eat them all day long. So it was a good day for me. Oh, and I probably should mention that my daughter is in the room with me, as usual. For those of you who have been watching for a while, you just know to expect background noise. That's just the way my videos go. But if you're new to my channel, just know that more often than not, there's a kid in the room. And and I don't have quiet kids. I don't, I don't know how people get those, but those are not the kind that I seem to make. So if you hear little baby sounds in the background, that's her. But now that my video is like half over, let's actually talk about what I'm drawing today. So, hopefully it was obvious, but this is a barn. <laughs> and actually, this footage is kind of old at this point. I drew this barn quite a while ago, but we're just now getting around to actually implementing some of the animal features in the game so that you can actually like raise livestock. So anyway, I've just been sitting on this footage, you know, since then, and it's actually slightly outdated. This was the original version of the barn, um, but since then I have made a couple of adjustments to it. We wanted there to be actually some built-in storage in the barn so that uh, you could, you know, leave things there like, you know, your pail, your brush, your pitchfork, hay, uh, you know, food. We wanted the barn to actually be able to store things as well. And so in the final version that's actually in the game now, the barn is slightly wider and has a little extra um, hatch door on the side that you can store things in. And I will go ahead and show you, at the end of this video, I will show you the new and updated sprite sheet, but it really isn't all that much different from this version. And I debated whether or not I was going to show off some gameplay today, since like I said, the barn is up and running, but I think I'm going to wait another week or two, because I have a lot of stuff to show off, basically, in regards to the animal portion of our game, because we have been working really hard on that lately. So today I'm just going to show, you know, the exterior of the barn, and then now I am working on some of the furnishings for the interior. And then on a future video I'll show you um, the footage of the cows. You're already getting to see one of the cows here, but I'll show you the process of how I drew the cows and things like um, some of the tools that you use to take care of your animals and eventually of course I will be showing the actual gameplay and you'll get to see all of these things how they look in game. So some of the things that we wanted for the interior of the barn were of course like stalls. Um, I wanted each of the animals to have, you know, their own individual stalls, at least for the big animals. Um, I haven't, I, at some point you're going to be able to raise dragons in this game, and I haven't decided how big they should be. If they should be, like, massive and not even, like, fit in the barn, that would be kind of funny. Or if they should be more, like, cow-sized and, uh, maybe more like cows themselves and be able to fit in the stalls. But we figured, like, the cow's a good unit of measure. If a cow can fit in a stall, then, you know, sheep can, pigs can, whatever. So anyway, I made the, I'm making these stalls in two pieces. So there's like a back wall and there's a front wall so that your cows can actually, you know, go in them. And I've got, you know, like a big water tank there, like a galvanized, I was thinking, like metal water trough. 
And originally we had um, individual little feeders for each animal. As you can see, I've got that there. Um, a little wooden box, but uh, that idea actually was scrapped, and you'll see here in a minute, I will actually be making a bigger feeder. Um, I originally made the little ones thinking that you would feed the animals individually, but then we realized it would be more consistent with the peasants if there was just one central location that they could go to eat, and as long as it was filled, they would feed themselves. Because that's how our peasants work, if you've watched any of the other gameplay or some of the other videos. There's a larder, which you just have to keep stocked with food, and your peasants are smart people, and so they will feed themselves. Um, in the mornings or whenever they get hungry, they will visit the larder and will uh, get their own food. And so we thought, well, it would be more consistent with the peasants if the animals were a little like that too. So I looked at a bunch of pictures of, you know, the great big feeders and came up with this little design um, that you'll be seeing here in a minute. There's just, you know, just a big long feeder that I figure as long as you keep it filled, you know, the animals can feed themselves and you don't have to worry about filling individual feeders every day, which saves you a bit of work as well. There are plenty of other chores, of course, that will have to be done for each individual animal by either you or more likely your peasants. That's certainly the way I've been doing it. Um, <laughs> but things like, you know, milking the cows, you have, uh, I, I made a little uh, milk pail that's already done up and running and that you do have to go around to each cow and milk them individually. I've also made a brush that you can use to brush your cows, you know, take care of them. And it will be, of course, compatible with other animals as we get those up as well. But things like, um, and also keeping the barn clean. So we've made um, stuff that we are affectionately referring to as muck and the animals produce muck and you have to clean it up and so we've got a pitchfork and so you can go and shovel poop and keep your barn clean and so with all of those tasks that have to be done individually i think automating one task you know feeding was probably a pretty um it's probably a pretty good move all right so we're getting to the end here which is actually pretty impressive when you consider i started out with almost four hours worth of footage but you speed it up to 30 times life speed and you can cram four hours into seven and a half minutes. So, <laughs> of course, last but not least, I'm going to be showing the finished sprite sheets up on the screen. We've got that barn with all of the changes that I talked about, as well as all of the furnishings uh, that go in the barn. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you have, please join me again next week because I will be showing more animal assets and hopefully some gameplay as well so you can see how all of this stuff actually looks in-game and you can learn from yours truly how to run a successful digital ranch. So I will see you again next Friday and have a great week.